has led by as many as 14 on several occasions. No one coming to the ball to get it from Starks. Finally, Ewing appears. Ewing to the crossover, but Cartwright stays with him. And a foul on Grant. That is his second. Oh, look out. Hopper and English going at each other. Not a good move by Derek Hopper. Players can't leave the bench. Everybody that leaves the bench gets fined. And we have a very ugly scene once again. This reminiscent of last season in Phoenix when Greg Anthony and Doc Rivers got involved. Now this will be automatic ejection for Derek Hopper. The Bulls will lose JoJo English. But the Knicks cannot afford to lose a player like Hopper. That's assistant coach Jim Clemens trying to preserve looking to keep order. Bob, the ironic thing is this is happening a few feet away from the NBA commissioner and his wife, David Stern, and Georgetown coach John Thompson. I mean, inches away from them. Phil Jackson trying to settle it down. John Starks guided aside by the security force. But I would think the objections will involve Derek Hopper and JoJo English which is a good exchange from the Nick point of view. Patrick Ewing is glaring at, uh, at English. Pat Riley's all shaken up physically as well. I've never seen Pat Riley so ruffled up physically after a melee of this sort. Well, this is Shades of Knicks Phoenix, Atlanta, Miami. And uh, this, this is about as close to a real punch out that you will see in basketball. Hopper and English in a wrestling match. And uh, they are ready to go. And then both benches emptied. And that served to help to break it up. And now the officiating crew has some decisions as to who will be ejected. To me, it, it's obvious to start with Hopper. Well, the question English. is, what, what did JoJo English do to, to, to deserve to get that response out of Hopper? I mean, he doesn't deserve that kind of response. Hopper knows what he's doing now. He's too valuable to the Knicks. What does this prove? That he can get English to the floor? Oh, it's so costly. Major takedown, though, by, by Derek Hopper, putting uh, JoJo English down. Unfortunately, the Chicago security force here at the stadium, very quick to get into it because fans might have gotten involved. The NBA Commissioner David Stern to the right in the dark suit and the white shirt, right in the middle there. Well, we're still awaiting the verdict from the officials. Most unfortunate breakout. Derek Hopper is a guy who does not accept anything. We, we've seen him uh, get involved. There's a nasty streak there, but I say that in a favorable way because he's such a tremendous competitor, but you would think that, that he that he's that he's lost it. How about the fans there, Mark? Because he would not want to get thrown out of a game like this. Oh, it's it's just terrible, terrible judgment by Harper. No matter what English did, English doesn't deserve that kind of response. Well, Derek Harper and JoJo English have been ejected. foul was called on Horace Grant. JoJo English getting a stare from Patrick Ewing. So English and Hopper headed back to the respective locker room. Well, the fans of Chicago, as you look at a very upset Pat Riley, naturally a very proud of the Bulls 
performance on the court tonight and also to the action that indicated they can be physical, although their player got thrown around pretty much by Derek Harper. But unfortunately, the focus on the physical play of the Knicks has brought so much attention to physical play, and this ugly incident broke out. 